Hey guys, welcome to Rustin Duck Garage here. Hey, today we've got this 1976 Chevrolet Custom Lux 10 that I just picked up just about 15 miles from here, not far from my home, from a gentleman that uh, his dad owned this truck. His dad passed away just recently. Uh, the truck set up there in their barn for about 15 years. Uh, one owner prior to his dad owning it that had bought it new. A gentleman was a shoe cobbler. Uh, he worked for West Coast Boots uh, over in Malala, where he uh, repaired and, and uh, modified boots. And it's a, a 250 six-cylinder with a three-speed manual transmission with 48,963 miles on it. And he assured me that those were the uh, actual miles on the truck. The previous owner had not driven it that much, and his dad really didn't, didn't drive it much at all. First, I'll show you the engine here on it. It has, it has a 250 cubic inch uh, six cylinder engine in it. Uh, appears to be all original. It's never really been messed with. You can see here, um, it still has the original smog equipment, HEI ignition in 76. I think the second year for that, uh, carbureted. The truck runs good. Uh, there is no power brakes, uh, no power steering, so not a not a lot of fun to drive uh, in in that manner, and and probably one of the reasons this truck has so low miles is because these trucks that don't have power steering or power brakes, they're really kind of a chore to drive. I don't mind them, but uh, a lot of people do not like driving them. Uh, my wife would not really be thrilled at all to drive this truck without power steering or power brakes and then the manual trans these three speeds uh were originally three speed on the column they were notorious for the links to be wore out and hang up and and cause you to be stuck in second gear now that they had converted this one to a hearse linkage on the floor that uh, works okay uh does does need some adjusting that i will be doing you can see here it was bought from friendly chevrolet in lake oswego oregon um, been in the local area forever like say custom blocks just the white bumper on it no nothing fancy here just it's got a few bumps and bruises on the truck oops but you see it is a short bed which is very desirable somebody did add add these uh aftermarket mirrors on it which uh i don't really care for but they aren't that far off from the original style so uh, i may leave them just because of the holes that are in the doors there uh, tires are okay on it however i bet that they're pretty old you can see here it has the what we used to call the Barden step bumpers on it. You know, today we have steps into bumpers. Well, these are step bumpers. Uh, you can see he's got a number of uh, stickers on here with his uh, opinion on a few things. <laughs> Some people will agree with or don't agree with. You can see in the back of the truck, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty straight there. Very straight, in fact. Uh, just a uh, minor scratching is all. It did come with that roll pan you see there that I will not be installing on this truck. Um, I do plan on maybe put a sport bumper on it, a rear one, the white one. Um, it does have some damage alongside the truck. You see it's damage here, which we'll do a paintless dent repair on here, but also along here and right here on the truck. So again, we'll, we'll try to do what we can there on a paintless stint repair. I really like the original hubcaps on the truck all the way around. The white wheels go with the, the rest of the look. And continuing on here to the side of the truck. Got some scratches and stuff on the doors you can see there. And a little, little ding there in the, the front bumper there as you see. But overall not bad. It's a rainy day here in the northwest i was planning to drive down to the coast which is about a 45 mile drive and uh, uh this truck came available and i bought it uh, and i'm gonna drive this to the coast here 
this afternoon, about uh, 45 minutes or an hour, uh, well, however long it takes us to get there. But you can see in this truck that it's, uh, I believe that to be the 48,000 actual miles on it. See the original seat in it here. Got a little, uh, the seams coming apart there a little bit there. Pedals are not really worn. The dash is, is really good. Um, the uh, no cracks in the dash, which is just unheard of on these old trucks. Most of them are cracked. I don't believe this truck came originally with this carpet in there. It's original loop style carpet style wise, but I don't think it's original to this truck. The uh, option list that's on the glove box over there is missing. So uh, I don't know what exactly this truck came with for options, if any. So anyways, getting a little wet out here. So we're gonna start our drive. So you can see here, the dash in the truck is very nice. The gauges are nice and bright. Uh, no cracks in the dash pad. Just uh, just an original old truck. Uh, no headliner, just base model. Um, <clears throat> but overall, pretty good there. I guess the seat doesn't fold up. It's okay. Okay, like I said earlier, these trucks with no power steering no power brakes aren't the funnest thing in the world to drive. But it's fun for me because it's it's not something I have to drive. So anyway, three speed manual trans here. Well first gear, the wipers do work on the truck nicely. I probably should be adding some air to the tires in the truck. Uh, they look a little bit low and are probably pretty old. Um, and which could cause some extra heat in them and could cause a blowout. There's that old three speed manual there. Shift's a little stiff. We're gonna, we'll get it up there and uh, lube the linkage, adjust the linkage. They have a uh, hole in the linkage where you st stick like an eighth inch drill bit in there and align it and then uh, adjust all your shifting rods accordingly so we'll plan on doing that maybe when we get back from the, the beach here uh, Monday all right here we go with this big old torque monster 250 inline six cylinder Gotta give her a little extra pop there. If you try to force it, well, it's probably not gonna. It's not gonna go very well. Oh, here we are in the high gear, and we're showing uh, about uh, three eighths of a tank of fuel, which should get us down to the beach. I'd like to run this old fuel out of it so I can add some fresh fuel to it when I get down the beach and for whatever reason fuel has actually been cheaper down at the beach than it is uh, here uh, in Amity where I live uh, which is odd to me uh, that they have to truck the fuel to the beach from the Portland area tanks which is 45 minutes further than Amity and the fuel will be cheaper down there so I, I don't understand that, but that's the way it's been for a long time, and we'll just have to take advantage of it. So yeah, yeah the truck, kind of fun to drive. 55, 60 miles an hour uh, is where it's kind of comfortable at. Uh, I wouldn't want to drive a lot faster than that. I mean, it'll, it'll do 70, but the old motor's wound out. You know, 3,500, 4,000 RPM, I would imagine. But doesn't have a tack, uh, doesn't have any gauges other than the speedometer and the uh, fuel gauge. There, heater does work. Uh, however, 
I did find some remnants of where a mouse has been in here, so uh, I'm really uh, reluctant to turn the heater on high. I've got it on, on the low setting right now, and uh, it's keeping up just fine. Hey, one of the things I didn't show you, that this truck is a factory radio delete. So this truck did not come with a radio of any kind when it was new because the person who ordered this truck wanted it as cheap as possible. They just needed basic transportation. So we're headed down the coast here, uh, just now rolling into Sheridan, Oregon. Have a wet, rainy day down here, um, but still a fun little drive. Downtown Sheridan. Lee's Green Frog here, They're building a new gas station. It's been long, many years since Sheridan had a new uh, gas station. So, much needed. And that owns that old house there on the right hand side. Has it rented out to some folks there. But, uh, got the flags out here. Mill River running along the side of us on the left there. Uh, 1964. It flooded really hard down here, flooded the whole downtown. Um, in 96, I believe it was, it also flooded here. Uh, not quite as bad. Uh, did flood the fire station, see all some of that, but not as bad. Here we are coming into Willamina, Oregon, Timber Town, USA. Uh, used to say the town that cares. My brother worked for a logging company down here, and I believe a friend of his was on the city council and whatnot. Every time they'd hear about some story about some drunken logger or whatever doing something crazy down here, my uh, brother would always tease him and say, Will of mine, the town that cares. But actually, a pretty good little old logging community down here. Um, they've got a great high school here. The auto shop program is really, really doing well. Uh, combined with Dayton High School, they've got some great uh, projects going. They just had uh, Gene Winfield, 95-year-old Gene Winfield up here, teach a metal uh, fabrication classes for the students and anybody that, that wanted to attend. Uh, really an awesome event here. So down here, Main Street here, here comes our Yamhill County Sheriff's Department. Um, Red Bud here. And downtown here, Skyberg's Lumber and Hardware. And we have uh, Willamite Lumber is here in town, which is a uh, fairly large uh, sawmill. Uh, that employs a lot of people. 
hour slow. We're going down here through the Van Duzer corridor on Highway 18. Uh, a lot of big timber reserves down in here. The winter times can kind of be treacherous down here when they get high winds and all these trees blowing down across the road and whatnot. But very beautiful. I uh, wish it was uh, dry out today so you can see it and with sun shining, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice area. There's a, a lot of uh, elk and deer hunters uh, that get their permits and go out and hunt in the uh, timberlands around here and score some pretty big uh, elk out of uh, out of these forests there. All right, we just entered into Lincoln County down here. Uh, like I say, we're going to Lincoln City, Oregon. You know, you drive in a modern car, uh, that's a pretty 
simple, easy uh, trip. But these old truck, it's a little further. But really, this truck is really quite comfortable. Does the speed limit very easily and no issues. So can't complain. But you know, the funny thing is, is I've thought about it on the way down here. Is I paid twice as much money as this truck uh, cost new. Uh, <laughs> pretty amazing that you can keep a truck for 46 years and and, and uh, use it and basically double your money if you wanted to. But uh, I, I'm I'm happy with the purchase. Devil's Lake here, down to the city park here. Guy okay. flying his little RC, electric RC plane. Look pretty cool. Uh, and looks like we got a few fishermen down here at the dock. I don't know if my grandson and son in law down here or not, but I'm sure they've been down here earlier today. But yeah, we've uh, basically arrived at our destination. Her house is just around the corner over here. Kind of show you where we're going here. And we're off of Lake Drive. Down here. There were some fantastic buys on property oh four or five years ago when we bought our place down here. <laughs> Man, has that ever changed? Uh, I just can't believe the price of properties. Uh, these little houses, uh, two, four of them, I guess, going here on the left hand side. Those have just recently sold for $850,000. Uh, hard to imagine for me uh, without actually having a lakefront property. And this little one here sold recently for $850, but it does have a dock, so I'll give that one a little slack there. But. Well, it felt like it was a long trip, but we finally made it to the beach. Neil truck did just fine. We cleaned her up, got her all shined up, and ready for the drive home. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll catch you next time at Rusty Duck Garage.